My name is John Remolio Petal Corin. I am the Director for the Advocacy Communication of the Moro National Liberation Front or MNLF. In this video, I am going to respond to some questions from the public about the independence of Mindanao. Question number one. Is MNLF an exclusive Islamic organization? Answer. No. The MNLF is not an organization that is exclusive to those who embrace the Islamic faith. The MNLF has egalitarian ideology which respects people equally regardless of differences in religion. MNLF does not consider religion as a factor affecting membership and opportunities for leadership in the organization. The MNLF believes that religious affiliation of an individual citizen should not be asked in any government form or paperwork. The best example is me. I am a Christian and one of the prime movers of the MNLF. Question number two. Is MNLF fighting for the independence of Mindanao from Philippines? Answer. The word fighting in that question caught my attention. So let me give you a historical background. Please allow me to bring you back to the past, some 35 years ago. MNLF was first organized by Nur Miswari in 1969 for the purpose of doing a struggle against the Marcos regime that oppressed the people of Mindanao. To end the MNLF war with the government of the Philippines, the Philippine government initiated a negotiation and offered autonomy as a peaceful transition towards independence. After the MNLF accepted the offer in good faith, we have ever since become a political organization that is advocating peace and supporting the full implementation of the autonomy. Despite the MNLF's cooperation with the government of the Philippines, nothing significant happened in the development of Mindanao because the many changing hands of Philippine government administrations have all slept from their commitment. Extreme poverty, militarization of the isolated areas, oppression of the rural folks, land grabbing and exploitation of natural resources of Mindanao are proofs that the government of the Philippines have not taken the agreement seriously. The government have always been making excuses for not fulfilling their commitment. The government did not put their action where their mouth is. 35 years is a long wait and we are tired of endless excuses. As a result, the MNLF is already studying possible routes to catapult Mindanao to independence without passing through genuine autonomy. As much as possible, we set aside those options that may trigger a war. We are hoping that the Philippine government will allow us to make self-determination of our political destiny. It is no longer about the past. This is about the sufferings of the people of Mindanao at present and finding ways to brighten up hope for a better future. We hope that there will no longer be fighting to achieve independence. Question number four. Is MNLF dependent on the Philippine government's move to legally grant independence to Mindanao? Is MNLF ready to handle any resistance if it will declare Mindanao independent without the blessing of the Philippine government? Answer. Independence is not a new thing. Almost all countries in the world experience colonization and independence. The Declaration of Mindanao Independence does not require any permission from the Philippine government. In fact, it should not require in order to be genuine. 
the draft of the Declaration of Mindanao Independence was already written and it was soft launched by the MNLF leader Nur Miswari in public some few months ago. Independence will happen anytime when the MNLF becomes decisive to execute it. We are confident that no resistance that is in significant scale will happen because almost all government employees and officers in Mindanao are Mindanaoans and many of them have already volunteered their support to the new independent government. When Mindanao independence will be declared, the government operation will not be disturbed by abrupt changes. Transitions for the better will be done smoothly. Those who are already holding government jobs in Mindanao, whether military, police, or civilian, will retain their post as long as they will support the mandate of the new sovereign government of Mindanao. Next question. If Mindanao will become independent, what will happen to the citizenship of Mindanaoans? What will happen to the non-Mindanaoans? When Mindanao becomes independent, it is almost likely that Mindanaoans will become dual citizens, meaning they will retain their citizenship in the Philippines and Mindanao's citizenship will be added to their profile. As dual citizens, they will still enjoy all rights and privileges of being a Filipino citizen, plus being a Mindanaoan citizen. The thing that we should be vigilant about is that it is important that Mindanao and Philippines will part ways politically as friends so that the Mindanao government will be inclined to grant automatic open boundary privileges for all Filipino citizens. Having said this, I believe there will be no restriction of movement of Filipinos and Mindanaoans across the borders. The most significant change is the voters and leaders in Mindanao politics will become exclusive to Mindanaoans. And this is what independence is all about, which is being free to self-help towards survival and prosperity. When Mindanao becomes independent, the leaders in Mindanao will no longer be puppeteered by the corrupt politicians in Imperial Manila. I personally believe that the people of Mindanao are very talented and resilient to change. Mindanao will prosper under the exclusive governance of Mindanaoans. Next question. How will the MNLF start up a new government without funding support from the Philippine government? We have to help ourselves. We are not worried about funds to start up a new government in Mindanao. We don't expect start up funds from the Philippines because we know that the Philippine government is also bankrupt. There are many foreign nations, especially members of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, who pledge to help MNLF start up a new government in Mindanao. The transition will be tra challenging because Mindanao is not spared by the viral contamination of the culture of corrup corruption of the Philippines and we have to face all challenges of empowering the young idealistic ones. The sacrifice and inconvenience is a worthy investment to achieve our self-determined nation and prosperity in Mindanao. Independence of Mindanao would also mean financial independence. Mindanao will no longer be restrained to collect taxes from its own people for the exclusive use of its own people. The prospect of fiscal independence as a result of domestic production is bright. And most important, corruption will be eradicated because there will be no longer be an Imperial Manila who will manipulate the government's governance of Mindanao. That's all for today. Good evening. Today is the 9th of September, 2011. Have a nice day.